Hi guys, it's Kate. So I thought I would hop on today and do a comparison review between the Elegoo Neptune 4 and the Elegoo Neptune 3 Pro. These are fairly similar printers that have a few key differences and I wanted to highlight those for you today. So start off with the assembly process for the two printers. The assembly process was extremely similar between these two printers. They both came flat packed. So this part, the frame was off the printer and needed to be installed as well as the spool up here. And then the um, removable touchscreen device also needed installation. It was extremely similar between the two printers. I don't think there was any real differences between the assembly process. It took me about half an hour for both printers to assemble. It's fairly straightforward. There is a video online you can watch or you can follow the paper instructions and I found that to be fine. So I don't think there's any major difference. It's not as though one of the printers is fully assembled. You do have to do some assembly work with either of these printers. Uh, let's move on to the filament. So both uh, printers are compatible with a wide variety of filaments. Uh, the Neptune 3, or sorry, the Neptune 4 uh, does add in nylon as a compatible filament, uh, but you can use PLA, ABS, PETG um, with both of these printers, and those are the most popular filaments to use. Uh, both of them come with this filament detector, which I think is a nice add-on that Elegoo includes with their printer. Uh, so if you had a large print and maybe you were using a small spool of filament or your print took a lot of filament and you ran out of filament halfway through, the print would pause because the filament detector would detect there's no filament and then you'd be able to add in more filament without losing your progress and you'd be able to restart your print. So I think that's a really nice feature that's included with both of these printers. So let's talk about leveling next. So both of these printers have auto leveling features. The Neptune 4 does have more points that the printer will check for auto leveling versus the Neptune 3, which has less points. Uh, I think both of them still do a great job with auto leveling and I wouldn't really consider the Neptune 4 to be much of an upgrade over the three. Uh, both of them have really clear instructions on how to level the printer, which I think is nice. And if you're confused about that, go and watch any of my Elegoo tutorials on how to use the printer because I do go through the leveling process. Both of them have the same size build plate, so there's really no difference in what you can print with these uh, two printers. If you're looking for something with a bigger build plate, you're going to have to go with one of the other Elegoo models. Uh, so there's no difference in the size of what you can print. What we're going to get to later is that the speed is quite different between the two printers. Both of them come with this flexible print bed, uh, which is a really nice feature. I would definitely, when looking for a 3D printer, especially if you're new to 3D printing, choose one with a flexible uh, build plate. It's just so much easier to take your designs off and you get I find a much easier time with adhesion. I did have another printer with a glass bed and uh, as soon as I got the flexible print uh, bed, I was so much happier with how it worked out. So the big difference between these two printers is in the firmware. The Elegoo Neptune 4 uses Clipper, whereas the Elegoo Neptune 3 Pro uses Marlin. What does that actually mean? Well, Clipper essentially is a firmware that allows you to print really high quality, but at a much faster speed. Versus Marlin, you're gonna have a much slower print speed. So the Elegoo Neptune 4 can print as fast as 500 millimeters per second, whereas the Neptune 3 Pro is 180 millimeters per second. So you are gonna be much faster in your prints with the Elegoo Neptune 4, which is the biggest difference between these two printers. So just as an example, I printed this collapsing lightsaber and then I printed this collapsing uh, pirate sword. And of, although they weren't the exact same print, uh, they likely took a, would take around the same time to print if they were gonna be printed on the same printer. For the four, this took about uh, six hours, whereas for the three, it took 16 hours, okay? So that's the difference. You're gonna be printing much faster when you use the four.
Another one of the differences that I actually do appreciate with the Elegoo 4 is that it uses a USB um, in order to upload the files, whereas the Elegoo 3 uses micro SD. I just hate having to fiddle with those small micro SDs, put them inside of one of those USB transfer devices. I don't have a micro SD slot on my computer, but I have a USB slot. So it just makes it so much easier to be able to use USB in my opinion. So I really like that about the Elegoo uh, 4 versus um, the 3. I will note that both of them, I had issues with the printer reading the USB and then reading the micro SD card and I ended up having to upgrade the firmware on both. And when I went on Reddit, it seems like that's a common problem. So one thing to note is that I did have to do a manual upgrade of the firmware because I was having USB and micro SD issues on both printers. Um, I'm really happy with the print quality on both these printers. Um, what I love about these printers is that the print quality is just really good right out of the box. I didn't have to make any adjustments. Um, this is my second Elegoo printer and this was my first and both of them have had really nice print quality. I'm not someone who is so tech savvy that I can make all my own custom settings. I am uh, wanting something that's easy. Uh, to get a good quality print without having to make very many adjustments. So I'm really happy with the print quality of both of these print printers and I haven't had any issues with either of them in terms of print quality. Obviously the speed is a big factor with the Elegoo 4. I can print way more with the Elegoo 4. So if you're planning to use your printer a lot, you might want to pay extra for that ability to do uh, the prints faster or maybe if you're you know planning to use the printer in a library or community center and you want to be able to go through a high volume you might want to go with the four all right so let's talk about the price so uh, the elegoo 4 being the newer printer is the more expensive printer i purchased both these printers myself off amazon it's not a sponsored post i did buy these printers myself and these this is an honest review of both of these printers um, I, at the time that I bought these printers, this one was about a hundred dollars more than this one. Of course, there may be different sales or promotions that are happening at various times to make that difference either more or less. Um, but for a hundred dollars more, in my case, these were the additional features with the Elegoo 4. So really what you're paying for is that clipper firmware, which allows you to print faster. I forgot to mention that there is the upgraded fan on the Elegoo 4. So there's a much more powerful fan with the Elegoo 4, which again helps with that quality when you're um, printing fast and cooling down your piece. Um, so what do I think overall? Uh, for me, I mean, I run this channel. I like to do a lot of 3D printing activities uh, for kids and I'm gonna be printing a lot of 3D prints, so I really appreciated the faster speed with the Elegoo 4 printer. I can print more and a higher volume with this printer. Uh, the Elegoo Neptune 3 Pro is also an awesome printer. It's just gonna take me longer to print the same thing. So for me, it's worth the extra to get the 4 and be able to print faster. For others, it might not be that worthwhile to go with the Elegoo 4 as you're going to get just as nice of a print quality and most of the same features with the 3 Pro and you're going to get that printer at a really nice price because it is one of the older models. Um, if you're tech savvy and you want to tinker with the 3D printer you can actually get cl um, the Clipper firmware on the Elegoo Neptune 3 Pro you need to use a Raspberry Pi device for that. And so there are tutorials on YouTube and also on Reddit on how to do that. So you could also make upgrades to this printer such that it would function the same way as the four. But overall, I am really happy with both of these printers. I really don't think you can go wrong with either of them. Personally, I think the four does have enough going for it that it's worth the extra price but it's up to you to decide what's important for you when looking for a 3D printer. So I hope you enjoyed this comparison review. I'll link to some of my other comparison reviews as well as my reviews of other 3D printers. And please don't forget to like and subscribe if you're looking for more 3D printing or coding for kids content.